All right, we're running some shirts through the dryer. It's a cold day. And one thing that you want to do on cold days is you want to make sure that you check your temperature, that your ink is getting up to the proper cure temperature. Because on cold days, when it's down in the 20s and 30s, it can affect your, your dryer temperature. So you want to make sure that everything is getting up to the correct cure temperature for the inks that you're using because it can can come back to bite you so that's what I'm doing I'm, I ran the shirts through I run through again because it's a cold day it's gonna do this right here I'm see there already let's see can I show you here my dryer ain't that wide okay it's already cured but it's a real cold day outside. I don't have a heat gun. So I want to make sure that it's cured so it won't wash out when the customer throws it in the washer. So I run it through twice. I'm pretty sure it's good, but I just want to precautionary measures because one thing you do not want to do, it's best to be safe than sorry. You do not want to send your customer undercured printed ink on a garment and they wash it. A couple of times and the ink start cracking, start washing out. That is not good. I see the name of my dryer. Too lit to quit. And I got my caution hot because it's hot. So that's what I'm doing here. Just want to share that with you guys. That's a tip. If you're printing up north where the temperature drops and two things you need to do. You need to make sure that you have a temp gun to check the garment to make sure that the ink is hitting cure temperature. If not, you might need to increase the uh, temperature on your dryer or slow down your belt speed. Or you can run it through twice to make sure that it's uh, curing the ink properly. So those are some tips I'm going to leave you guys with, you new guys. I know you veteran guys already know that. So, but if you're down south where it's warm, well, I'm sort of, I'm midway, you know, it don't get too cold, but they happen to be a cold day and I'm printing. And so I had to take my ink inside to make sure that it had the viscosity that I can push it through because your ink can also get cold and stiff. So make sure you warm your ink up also, probably like uh, take it inside, inside your house and let it get warm and, and uh, so it can flow. You can push it through the screen because you don't want to be uh, trying to print with cold ink, especially your whites. Printing whites when it's cold, it doesn't work too good. So, okay, I'm going to leave this video here. I left those few tips with you guys. Hope it helps someone. And I am going to finish printing these few shirts that I got to do and call it a day. So, Leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. And I am out.